Let's talk about how to add integers. So of course integers just mean numbers that are either positive or negative. Um, what you'll notice is your book typically puts negatives in parentheses and guys it, the parentheses I know a lot of students will mix that up with order of operations how you have to do parentheses first which is fine except if you look at our set of parentheses there's nothing really to do in it it's just representing a negative 12 or a negative 11 and the reason your book does this is because when they top up your math books there's no way to to distinguish between a subtraction and a negative so they just use parentheses to do that now if you'll notice I've, I've actually got this problem wrote down twice I'm going to show you two different ways to do this the first way is just to work this problem from left to right now guys if you are not good at with or with your uh, signs it's actually much uh, better for you to do it this way because it really pushes those uh, integer rules so if I work this thing from left to right the first thing I'm going to do is do 34 plus negative 12 well because the signs are different and I am adding I'm actually going to subtract so 34 minus 12 is going to give me a 22 and that's going to end up being a positive 22 because I had more positives to begin with so let me bring everything else back down that I've not used yet okay let's go again so if I do 22 plus negative 11, well 22 plus negative 11 because the signs are different I'm actually subtracting so it's really 22 minus 11 which is going to give me 11. It will stay a positive 11 because I had more positive to begin with. So let me bring down the plus 213, that's the only thing we've not used yet. I could actually put in some little arrows here to make show you what we just did. Alright, and then finally I want to do 11 plus 213. Well 11 plus 213 because our signs are the same we're just going to add them together. That's going to give us a total of 224. So once again guys if you're not good with your sign rules this is really the way to go for you. Now let me show you a little bit easier way to do this problem. It kind of goes into the idea of like terms that you're going to talk about a little bit more when you come to the algebra sections. But here's what's going to happen. I'm going to look at this thing and I'm going to say, okay, well, I know if I'm adding positive to a positive, I'm just adding. The same thing with a negative. I'm adding two negatives together, I'm just adding. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to collect my positives together, my negatives. So let's look here. I've got a positive 34 and a positive 213. Well, because those are both positive, I'm just going to add them together. So 34 plus 213 is going to end up giving me a 247 and I will write that in red so you'll know what we added together. Okay, let's add our negatives together because I do have a couple of negatives in here. So I am seeing a negative 12 and a negative 11 and we are asked to add those two things together. So because they do have the same sign, I am just going to add to get, or add them together. So 12 and 11 is going to give me a 23. It will stay negative because that's what I was adding together was negatives. And then what happens is because the signs are different here, 247 plus negative 23, I'm actually going to subtract these two things out. So 247 minus 23 is going to give me a 224. And it will be positive because I had more positive to begin with. So what happens, guys, if you do it this particular way, you only have to go through and subtract once, and that's really nice with that too.